I've read about your amazing scientific discovery that you made while working at Hopkins. Mm -hmm. um, can you please tell us a little bit more about what you discovered in your work there? Yeah, so essentially what I've created is a new way to attack pancreatic, ovarian, and lung cancer that costs three cents and takes five minutes to run. So it's 168 times faster, over 26,000 times less expensive, and over 400 times more sensitive than our current stage diagnosis, but also to detect the cancer in the earliest stage, when someone has close to 100% chance of survival, and so far in clinical trials, it is close to 100% accuracy. So it is this huge promise in the medical field because you can just switch out this one um, antibody in it and essentially detect any protein. So you could detect diseases range from Alzheimer's, other forms of cancer, even HIV, AIDS, and heart disease. So it has these broad span implications in the entire medical field. How did you come up with the idea to do this? So it actually came in my high school biology class. And I stuck in an article on Mars called Carbon Nanotubes, long thin pipes of carbon that are an atom thick and one fifty thousandth the diameter of your hair. So they're extremely small, but they have these really amazing properties. And then we were learning about antibodies, which are these molecules that only react with one specific protein. And I thought, maybe if I just like slap them together, something cool will happen. And something cool did happen, so. How long did it take you to do the experiments? So it actually took me seven months of continuous work. I would actually go to the lab every single day after school and sometimes actually miss school to go into the lab. And so also I would like end up sleeping at the lab like on this like mattress of scientific journal articles with like a pillow made out of them like <laughs> under the stairs. My lab mentor would come and be like, Jack, what, what are you doing? <laughs> so, you were living the life of a graduate student, yes, essentially. Yes, but it was so fun. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have had an amazing experience as a high school student in yeah. research. Is this something that you want to do in the future? I'm not really sure what I want to do in the future. I mean, definitely, like, clinical practice is a possibility. Academia, I'm not quite sure on. Like, I do like um, doing scientific research and stuff. I'm just, like, really, really bad at writing scientific papers, I found out. So... Maybe like more of the business side of science and then also um, maybe public policy. I really have no clue though. Well, you have a lot of time to figure it out. I'm not worried about you at all. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your high school in Baltimore. So um, I go to an inner city public high school called North County High School and it's not the best high school. We have pretty low SAT scores and we have some gang activity, well, actually really high gang activity. <laughs> And um, so it's a really interesting experience to go there. However, it teaches you to deal with all sorts of people and interact and explain science to people with all levels of scientific understanding. And so it's definitely a learning experience. And I think it's actually benefited me in the long run to actually go to there rather than some like ritzy private school. Right. And have you always been interested in science? Uh, I have been interested in science ever since the age of three because my parents are both scientists. My mom's a nurse anesthetist and my dad's a civil engineer. And so they're way into science and they just got me really into it at age three. But then my elementary school, it wasn't too into science. Instead of like science class, we had, let's make clay pineapples class. And um, the most advanced thing we did in math was learn how to read an analog clock. So not the best education. That was like kind of the dark ages of my scientific career. But then... Once I got into middle school, science was like mandatory, and so then I just got really into scientific research, and then here I am today. Going back to your discovery for a little bit, what has happened with your, uh, with your science experiments? What are the stages yeah. of testing that they're doing now? So currently I have the international patent on it, and right now I'm talks with several large biotech companies, and it's going to be really exciting to get on the market as soon as possible. So. I feel like you've accomplished in high school in a few years what many of us hope to accomplish in many years of research in science. So really congratulations to you and thank Thanks you so much. much for coming and speaking to us at MedEx. Thank you for having me.